I was like, it's about to go down. All my life, I've been considered as the worst. All my life, all my life, all my life, all my life. After hours, stepping, hear the sermon, hold the reverend. Long distance relationships with triple sevens. Who to guessed it? Feeling washed up before it's prime mic sessions. And as for rhyming, it's his only living heaven. You had to make this one last thing for all of 2017 to be probably the biggest spit in everyone's face, didn't you, fucking YouTube? And I know you're going to demonetize this and say this is probably going to be harassment from how you've just been trying to be demonetizing everything else on this fucking website. Anyway, what's going on, nomads, party people, and strangers everywhere across the internet? I'm kind of fucking pissed off at this year's YouTube Rewind. I'm not going to specify on where, because everyone has their own problems with this. Maybe it's from some of the memes. Maybe it's from just some of the cringe factor. Maybe it's from the fact that people don't know what they're fucking obviously doing. Here is my dilemma, first of all, with YouTube Rewind 2017. Get I wouldn't have a problem with it if it didn't kind of have a whole slap to the face of just all of a sudden having one piece of the fucking rewind be about unifying all of the people around the globe after a turbulent year to then just have the whole thing be spanned out into just utter chaos and just act like everything was a fucking party for 2017. Yeah, cause that's what I remember looking at 2017. You know what? That's probably what I saw in that Extentacion music video. What did we kind of see during that one? Yeah, because all of that was just a big highlight stuff of a party. Yeah, and then there was also what happened to Paris. Yeah, and Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah, that was the big party stuff where we needed memes and just needed fidget spinners and the weird dance craze where you just flip yourself to just shuffle like that shit. Yeah, that was the big thing that happened for 2017. Not everyone flipping the fuck out. You know, that's what was probably missing in Jorner Lucas's I'm Not Racist music video. All the so-called fucking parties that was going on. Cause yeah, yeah, that was that was very touching. Those few several seconds before just having to segue into more party stuff. Oh my god, really? No, of course not, dickhead. Second problem I had, we'll go into a bigger video for, but it was oh god, it was the Paul Brothers thing. Man, this is gonna be good. Now I already have a full blown. Lions rant video set for all the stuff involving the the God, I just feel sick thinking about them right now. All of the things involving the Pauls. Yeah, thanks for giving more clout to that, you dumb fucks. Yeah, cause everyone really wanted to know if Jake and Logan were still at each other's throats. Yeah. And then have to switch it up to even more party shit. Madness. Madness upon stupidity. Yeah, yeah, because that's all that we fucking needed. All we needed. Oh, and let's not forget the third thing that a lot of people would find very offensively stupid. How to put this. Um, so, guys, we all know that YouTube is for, you know, the creators, right? It's for the people that actually pour their whole being into this entire website that honestly kind of hates us all if we're being honest right now from the whole big defining fact that's going on right now right we all can fucking admit this so why is it that this one had more i guess actual famous people that were famous away from youtube and people that only used it to just give their hit singles or whatever instead of the people that actually do this grind, whether they're famous or not, for an actual YouTube rewind, instead of just going like, we have the big celebrity people that segued from other social media platforms to get this far, and our establishing brand to be with the whole product, shake it up with celebrities, and then just spew it out as if it's something that is 
quite profound and, I guess, good in your own set of mind. I am guess I'm just pointing that out because, let's, let's see, um, that is by far the dumbest business practice I've ever heard to get something very greenlit for a spotlight that you run, that you yourself are placing at the top of the charts because you run said establishment. I mean, I'm literally trying to work on stuff in the background that's going to be main focus from 2018 going forward, but you don't see me making my mainstay stuff my all-time shit. But you know, I guess that's just my whole small thinking because, you know, I remember when this site wasn't full of shit. I remember when the whole company itself actually gave a damn. Not all the time, but majority of the time. I remember where we didn't have to deal with this stupid... I'm gonna calm down before I say the next word, because I know I'm gonna probably get kicked off if I say the, ro the wrong word. All I'm saying is, 2017 is the biggest vision of why people shouldn't have done what they've done for entertainment purposes. Because, in all honesty... This could have been a very beautiful send-off to say that there has been enough turmoil, enough hatred, enough, I guess, bad things that have happened this year, and to show that there's a united front where you don't need to put on fake-ass parties, have all these drama things, have all these people just breaking everything down into such a mundanely stupid level that just seems like the most dated cringe factor of so many stupid ass memes and could have shown that yes we are having a lot of problems with this website but from all of the people that have made this website the way it has even if they just came back to it after years of not being active with it again or just all of a sudden joining it for the first time this is the rewind that can say hey guys youtube stands with all people we have everything in our best interest to make it all the greatest things for you guys and you guys alone that would have been a beautiful sentiment but instead they didn't do that. They wasted their potential doing the stupidest fucking things for stupid sake. I despise that. I despise the presentation. I despise the method of which they've used this platform. And I despise the use that they've done for so many things on so many reasons. If you guys want to make a good rewind, think more. Do more and actually make something that can be more impactful than let's get a bunch of people together, make it a huge ass party to celebrate a year not a lot of people were happy with and just wanted to have get done because there was little hope, little satisfaction, little means of any sort of rays of light, you stupid fuckwits! But you know what? That's that's something I'm just going to leave up to you guys. If you agree with what I say, let me know. If you don't agree, let's have like a, a meaningful adult conversation about why you feel like the YouTube Rewind was good. But if you can't respect how I fucking feel about this, here's a news update for you guys. I don't give a fuck. So like it, love it, want it be disrespectful either way. Fuck it. Whatever. It's all good. Ha <laughs> ha!